Uh, check out the stream. Such a beautiful day out here. What? Dude, why y'all up in my spot? Hey, dude, you're the one taking all my smallies. Get out of here. What's up? I'm from my last day in Oklahoma and um, doing a little adventure. And a lot of y'all might know this guy right here, the Creek Crawler. What's up, everyone? How's it going? Dude, we, we just got done fishing a two-day um, Bassmaster uh, National Kayak Championship. It humbled us a little bit. We had some good and some bad. Yeah. But we, there was a river that we had to go explore. And we only have a few hours today. Go over here. Crystal clear water. Looking for smallies, but it's also got largemouth and spots in it. So let me show you that video. Fish on. A little bitty one. Spotted bass. Spot, yeah. I'm about to, this is exactly the problems you get into. He was right under the uh, bridge on a spinnerbait. Woo! Not exactly what we're going for, but it's a fish. Take him. I've caught salmon. I think I have, but not a lot of salmon than Hugger Mike. Catch a state record salmon bass. I catch them. There's one. A little smally. Hugger Mike, it is. Yeah, they're down there. Dude, that was cool. Drew don't know nothing about this. Yeah. He don't want these little ones anyways, but that's the thing, the Helga might get them off. Hey, we're going for smallies and I got one. Nico Helga might. There's supposed to be giants in here. Yeah, I got a nice little <laughs> At least 10 inches. Oh! Oh, I thought it was a big one. Is that another spot? Yeah, <laughs> dude, they think, these things crush it. It's crazy. Dude, that guy's like, I don't know, another one. There's one. It's not real big. It feels, what is that? Hey. Spotted bass. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah, a big old spotted bass. On the Helger Mike. We come see that baby. Good old fat 13 incher. The spotted bass. I'm getting those little ones. I, I get those little ones all day. <laughs> nice, nice. Still no luck on the big one. That was the smaller Helger Mike? Yeah. Yeah. There's one. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll grab my net. He was right off the uh, that grass right there. Yeah. So I'll let you come down this bank. I'll get I'll get out of the way. Hey, I love a good spinnerbait fish. Look how chunky that largemouth is. Oh my, hold on. That is a fat. How? I don't think he's that long. He's not even 15 inches long. Crushed that spinnerbait. Let me come get a pick, dude. Look at this place. Not a bad day. 
I was going for smallies. We're getting large smiles and spots so far, but really nice. Nice. Look at this, uh, kind of a cloudy, cool day. I had a guard down there jumping. I've seen some giant guard down here, but um, we got a, just a, maybe a couple more hours to fish before we can head out of here. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of spotted bass. I watched him come eat my hugger mite. I'm just cruising some little shallow water. These little guys were packing up. I saw them chasing the bait fish. Back on. I was about to say something. There's a bunch of little ones over here. Micro fishing. This little largemouth. Here, what in that hugger mic? Little ones seem to be very aggressive today. I'm really surprised we haven't got one big fish yet. Nine inches. Ooh, that's a little spot. We're getting all kinds of little guys. We're coming to the end though. We're about to turn around. I don't think we're going to go any further downstream. We're gonna have to work our way back upstream. There's so much. I may walk this bank over here though. Come over here and look at this. I was gonna walk this bank. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll check this out and see if I find anything. Right. Looks like a Hildrewack fishery. There's our first smallie today. That's my biggest smallie of the trip, too. Well, Brian got one. We had to get off and do some bank here. fishing, man. How about that? <laughs> Finally get them on the bank. Beautiful. So the river splits right here. And um, I didn't get any bites, but um, Brian got that one on the other side. I'm going to head over there. Just We just did a little bank, got off, do a little bank fishing before we head back up. This little area here is loaded with um, shiners, some kind of shiners or something. There's just thousands of them out there. I don't know if it shows up or not. Uh, and we saw an eagle's nest, some eagles flying around, just taking in some scenery. We'll go over here on the other side of this island, a couple more casts before we get back up to our kayak. Uh, oh, check this out. Look at this beast. Man, that felt good. Drifted the Helgramite in fast current. Early spring, that's something me and Brian have learned and I tell people all the time, and it works. They get up in that current, that's a foot, two foot of water, not even down in the deep hole. Drifted it. I've already caught one down there in the fast current. He just caught one, had another hit down there. I throw up here and he hits. We've been fishing this deeper, slow holes, can't get a bite. I catch this monster. Let's go get a measurement of him real quick. I gotta see what he is. <laughs> 18 and a half inch here, probably pushing four pounds. Wasn't wearing my uh, camera, was just bank fishing. Oh man, that is a beautiful fish. Such a powerful. What a river smolly. You don't know where to go. Try to find somewhere to hide. Oh man, that was awesome. Uh, we don't got a lot more time to fish, but they're definitely in that fast current. Well, I wish I had that catch on, on video, but I didn't bring a chest camera. Plus, uh, I wasn't sure what we'd find. Then boom, right over there. I was over there and we caught it. We're gonna go back over there and fish for just a little bit more. 
I used your board up. I was like, oh, my camera's too far away. Hey, what do you want? Take your parachute. Yeah, you can just. This, this is the stuff you gotta get. Yeah. Check. Yeah, go ahead and record it. Well, I ran to get my, my kayak and then uh, Brian hooked up on another one using the trace. Just burning the trace in super fast water, but check this out, folks. Oh, He's yeah. got a hitchhiker. Look at that. Comment down below if you know what kind of lamprey species that is. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, Look. We are in Look Oklahoma. That. So, but, hey, that's, that's not some smallmouth. Short and fat, man. He's probably what, a 16 inch or maybe? Dude. Dude, I got a minnow in my shoe. Well, check this out. Working our way up the bank, standing here casting, I feel something like hitting my foot. I had a minnow in there. What kind of minnow is that? I was like, what is, I pulled my shoe off and he was still in there. Anybody ever had that happen before? Has that ever happened to you? I don't know how he got in there, but we'll let him go. All right, back on, back on the trip. Nice, dude. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I got crushed over there. Spinnerbait. I made several casts of the Helgermeyer and I started just made a few casts of the. He's not even that big, but. Oh my. Let's go! Dude. We're trying to leave. We are trying to leave, but we're like figuring this thing out as we're, we figured it out really at the, when we turned around. Now we're kind of targeting the spots where we saw fish. Not a big one, but he crushed it in fast current, super fast current right here. Let me show you. Just so you know, this, this is a, I don't know if it's all year. That I, for me, it's mainly spring. Like here's a big deep hole that everybody fishes that we fished. We got a fast run, just a long run here. A couple feet deep. That's where he's at. A 15 inch or so much hard, hard well, how big was that big one you caught? Oh my god, I just got it. There it you is. got it, you got him. Dude, that this is, must be a this giant. Is, this is crazy. Dude, this feels like a freaking giant. Man. Get him. Get him over on the bank. Nice. Look at that monster, dude. That is a river giant. I caught my PB here in Oklahoma the day before I leave, 20 and three quarter, probably, that's over five pounds, dude. Hit the trace in the fast current. We figured out the bite, literally on our way back. Look at this unit. Look how many fishes. Good night. Let's go. <laughs> dude, dude, go. that was so cool. Man, that was fun. Hey, hit mm. it, dude. Mm. Oh my goodness. Dude. I should be mine. 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 Yeah, well. That's going to wrap it up for three hours of fishing. That's right. You heard that right. We only had a few hours of fishing, but we got up early to come over here to get this done because we got stuff we got to go do this afternoon. It's raining. We thought it was supposed to be a nice day, but you know what? We didn't let it stop us either way. Is it a little cold to be out wading in the water? Yeah, maybe, but you know what? You, you gotta get to the fish. 
me and Brian have tried to get together for years. Years. And it's funny that we're in Oklahoma fishing a river. We but, drove 12 hours away <laughs> yeah, to, to hang out and fish when we really live five and a half, six hours away. So. <laughs> no, we went a little extra out of the way to do this. We both had qualified for the, the um, kayak championship and we'd rather do this kind of stuff all day. And obviously that's why we're here today and no one else is. But um, pretty fun little day. If you don't know, go check out his channel because he wears out smallmouth and creeks and he has, he's taught me a lot and he's evolved a lot over the last few years as an angler. And I feel like that's something we all help each other do. And he, he teaches very well too. He's very good at that. So yep. you're in a uh, Ohio area. Ohio, Southeast Ohio, moving back to Southwest Ohio, but Southern Ohio, all, all the creeks and rivers there, you'll catch me on them. So if you see me out there, say hi. Glad it worked out. Thanks for watching. Let me get the paddling and uh, I got to go to the Bassmaster Classic thing to uh, Classic Expo. mostly pick up some brand new lures. So we'll see what happens with that. Thanks for watching.